mula po ang lahat nung sinabihan ako ng mama ko nanak, high school graduate lang natapos ko at saka security guard lang ang papa mo huwag mo kaming gayain yung mga gabi nasa ilaw ng mga poste ako nag-aaral dahil wala kaming kuryente nung ikawalong baitang pa ako and today, I can happily say to my parents ma, pa I made it and finally I would like to end the speech with all of us saying, Minamahal ko mga magulang, nagtapos na po ang anak ninyo. Maraming salamat at mabuhay ang Class 2023. I ask you to allow me to extend my most heartfelt congratulations to the PMMA, Manasiklan Class of 2023. To the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., sir. To all our distinguished guests, to our PMA superintendent, our PMA officials, faculty and staff, the core of midshipmen, dearest families, friends, and to the Madasiklan class of 2023, maayong buntag, kaninyong tanan. Before everything else, let us take a moment to express our deepest gratitude to our Almighty God. whose guiding hand has been ever-present throughout our journey. His Excellency, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Sir, your presence here today is an honor. As we move forward, we are inspired by your leadership and determination to strive our beloved country towards progress and prosperity, especially to the maritime industry. It is great pride and honor that I stand before you today. Please allow me to take this opportunity to share my story behind this success I have achieved. Nagsimula po ang lahat nung sinabihan ako ng mama ko na nak, high school graduate lang natapos ko. At saka, security guard lang ang papa mo. Huwag mo kaming gayain. Upon hearing those words, my life changed. I became the determined man who set goals and was ready to face anything to achieve the success I dreamed of. I studied hard and graduated elementary as the valedictorian and graduated K-12 program with high honors. As a sideline, I work as a mathematics tutor. And since the year of 2016, I had summer jobs for three consecutive years to lessen my parents' burden. I took and passed scholarship exams from DOST, shipping company, and various school admissions. Yet, I chose PMMA even if it means letting go of other opportunities. And today, I can happily say to my parents, Ma, Pa, I made it. Naalala ko pa yung mga gabi na sa ilaw ng mga poste ako nag-aaral dahil wala kaming kuryente nung ikawalong baitang pa ako. We only depended on a kerosene lamp and sadly, there were nights that we could not afford to buy kerosene. In spite of these difficulties, my perseverance and determination were the keys to reach my goals. For some of us, the choice in joining the academy was not just because of ambition or passion, but the choice was driven by the harsh realities of poverty. Sino mag-aakala na isang taong tulad ko na galing sa lugar na tinatawag nilang squatter or informal settler ay mabibigyan ng pagkakataon na makita at sumaludo sa Presidente ng Pilipinas bago yabot ang diploma? To the core of midshipmen, let's give them one Huya! To the faculty member and staff of the academy, including my high school and elementary mentors, salamat. Yung inakala natin na pinapahirapan lang tayo, pero yung gusto lang nila ay matuto at maging seryoso tayo sa buhay. To my madiskarting Mama Julita, ang supported Papa Alan, salamat sa inyong suporta at sa wakas. Nagbunga na ang inyong makasakripisyo. Papa, pagaling ka na dyan. Marami pa tayong ikakamit sa buhay. To the underclassmen, ipagpatuloy niya lang ang inyong nasimulan. Your assigned vessel is waiting for you. Be an inspiring leader. Also, I thank you for the opportunity of letting us experience and practice our leadership and self-discipline. I want to be remembered not for my academic achievements, but a symbol of hope. A child from an unfortunate family who dared to dream big. I stand here today to remind you that there are countless others like me 
with dreams that go beyond the circumstances. I also failed a lot of times, but I never gave up. It's time for all of us to wake up, join hands, and work together towards a brighter future. Finally, I would like to end the speech with all of us saying, Minamahal ko mga magulang, nagtapos na po ang anak ninyo. Maraming salamat at mabuhay ang Class 2023.